If you want to get a job at Google, you're going to want to be able to solve this question. So we're given a 2D grid where one represents land and zero represents water. Count to return the number of islands. Okay. An island is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically and is surrounded by water. You may assume water is surrounding the entire grid. Now, what we're going to do here is a graph breadth first search from when we see a one, right? Now, if you don't know what a breadth first search is, let me just go through it now. Now, with a breadth first search, we're going to be using a queue data structure as we're going to be popping from the left and appending to the right. So we're going to start off the queue by appending our source node, which is going to be zero in this case. And we're going to see for each of zero's children, have we seen it yet? Two and one we haven't seen before. So we're going to append them both to the queue nice and easily. This is already going to be popped off as we do that. Now we're going to pop two off the queue. We're going to see for its children, which one of them have we not seen? We haven't seen three. We're going to append that to the queue. We have seen zero, so we're not going to append that to the queue. Now we're going to pop off one from the queue. We're going to see its children. Four we haven't seen before, so we're going to append four to the queue. Zero we have seen. We're not going to append zero to the queue. Now we're going to go to the next iteration. We're going to pop off three. Two, we have already seen. We're not going to append it to the queue. Four, now we're going to go to four, pop that off. One, we've already seen. We're not going to add it to the queue. And now we have processed every single node we can reach from zero. Now, in this case, we're going to loop through every cell in the grid, right? As soon as we see a one, we're going to increment the number of islands to one. And then, okay, we're going to see what, what ones can we reach from this one so that we're connecting all as an island because islands are all connected by ones. So we're going to say here, okay, we're going to add this to the queue, this to the queue. We're not going to add this zero to the queue because it's a zero. We don't want to have any zeros. Okay, cool. Now we're going to process each one. We're going to add all the surrounding to the queues. So and we're going to end up having all these ones. And we're going to mark them all as seen. So then in our next iteration of the grid, we're not going to look at this one because it's already been seen as an item we've already processed. In this case, we don't have any other ones that are not connected to these ones here. So then we're going to only return one. This code's pretty long, but here you go. Subscribe for more.